Royal fans at Auckland's Viaduct couldn't believe their luck when Prince Charles and Camilla the Duchess of Cornwall shook their hands. It's the couple's second full day in the country, part of a week-long tour taking them to Northland, Christchurch and Kaikoura. They spent the day meeting officials, people who work with domestic violence victims and adoring crowds. Katie Doyle has more. The day began with an official welcome on the lawn of Government House. What followed was a hectic round of meetings and visits, with little time for Prince Charles and his wife Camilla to catch their breath. The National Party leader, Simon Bridges, was first up to meet the future king. I think what's amazing is um, how much he knows about uh, New Zealand. Um, As I said to him, um, he's been coming here uh, many times, actually since before I was born, and uh, he really has a good sense of what is happening. We discussed a number of environmental and sustainability issues. We also talked about the future of the Commonwealth uh, and the Pacific. Prince Charles then met the Prime Minister, Jacinda Ardern, while the Duchess visited the domestic violence support service, Shine. After that, His Highness ventured off to the non-profit organisation Sea Cleaners, before meeting up with Camilla to greet fans. Caroline couldn't wait. I'm here to see Camilla and Charles for the fourth time, so quite an achievement. (laughs) Are you excited? I'm very excited. Loyal royalists couldn't quite believe their eyes when Charles and Camilla stopped to chat with members of the public. At one point, the Duchess spotted a dog and rushed over to meet the puppy before turning to speak with one onlooker, Gary. Oh, it was quite amazing. Yeah, I'm not really a, a royalist, but uh, when I drove by and saw the crowd, I thought I'd wait, and uh, I enjoyed it. I was quite stunned that very few people have spoke. Uh, typical Kiwis, I suppose. We're, like, dumbfounded or whatever, or just, uh, yeah. And long-time royalist Linda was thrilled when both the Prince and Camilla shook her hand. It was worth the two hours she had waited to see the couple. It was absolutely marvellous shaking his hand because he looks you in the eye. He doesn't sort of look past you towards the next person. He looks you straight in the eye and says, thank you very much. Always polite. He's just a gentleman. I think that's part of the royal protocol. So nothing wrong with that. And Camilla was also delightful. Tomorrow, the Prince and Camilla will travel to Waitangi before jetting off to Christchurch. From there, Charles will travel by himself to Kaikoura, where he will meet with earthquake first responders and conservation workers. Itamaki Makoto, Motihotaka Otiahiahi, Kokati Doyle, Tene.